Oh, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. Uh, I want to I want to talk about something that I know very little about, but I have a whole lot of questions. Uh, a, a whole lot of uh, unknowns, and uh, and that is a uh, woman's uh, hormones, and I'm not even sure about that. Okay, now uh, I, I I think men have hormone problems, uh, and I I don't even know if they even know about it uh, because. I don't know about it. Uh, I am very little different than what I was 20 years ago. Uh, yes, uh, uh, muscle. I've lost some muscle. and um, But other than that, there's very little, I think. Um, now, uh, let's see, 20 years, see, that'd make me 48 years old. So, uh, and I was training SWAT teams, uh, clear up to 52. So, uh, it's changed. My life has changed because I don't do as much uh, physical as I used to do. Now, I do work out still um, with my uh, Tai Chi and uh, self-defense stuff. I've got videos talking about all that. So, um... I still have, uh, everything still works other than, like I say, I don't have as the, the muscle. Uh, but I've lo lost weight, too. I'm probably close to 25, 30 pounds lighter than I was when I was 50 years old, anyway. And, uh, but, uh, so, but, so I'm not saying men don't have problems. Uh, they do. Now, but like I say, um, for me, it's like I say, uh, and I don't know if I, don't, I know not every man is like me. And I, I've talked about the, the adrenals and the adrenal glands and how they work in the body, and like I say, how mine work, and um, it's really affected my life. I mean, throughout my life. But anyway, like I say, what I want to talk about here and now is uh, woman's uh, hormones. And uh, uh, the reason I want to talk about it is because, um, you know, I just came back from China. And uh, I was, I expected uh, some differences in uh, the way the women are, you know, I say. I say, now, now I'm a whole lot more knowledgeable about women in general than what I was five years ago. Five years ago is when I uh, uh, lost my wife of 41 years. So up until then, I only knew one woman. So I really didn't know a whole lot. And um, I had to trust whatever she told me, and I did. Whatever she told me, I thought was gospel. And... Um, uh, but I say, I noticed with my wife, uh, and we were talking as, as we were growing older, uh, her hormones would change and uh, she would come up with all kinds of stuff that would change her body. Not only her weight, uh, but uh, I say her, her thinking. And uh, now it wasn't as difficult for me, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about this, uh, for me, as it was for a lot of other uh, American men, uh, because um, my wife had that, she was 100% Chinese, and she had, um, uh, her attitude was towards me, uh, taking care of me. So uh, we, we didn't really have um, some sexual problems, I think, that uh, a lot of people have when she was going through her hormone change and um, but uh, there are some things that I, I, I don't know and that's why I thought I'd, I would mention this okay like I say I stopped training SWAT teams at 52 
Uh, and at that time, we moved, we left the United States and went to Central America. Now, uh, Guatemala. Now, once we did that, remember our diets changed. Now we're eating uh, fresh food, you know, and it was really much more healthier for you. Uh, but at the same time, um, that I kind of semi-retired and, and didn't really work. Um, but boy, I sure did have a lot of fun. <laughs> That's when I was traveling on the motorcycle with my dog Zena from Panama to Canada. So, and, um, so, you know, I mean, I stayed really busy. My wife, on the other hand, didn't. And so I'm not sure if it was the hormones or what. But I say she became less active. Um, uh, um, let's see. Her, she had, or of course, our attitude changes when we move to a, a third world country like that. And so, uh, so it was hard for me to say or use my wife as an example of how women are. So I'm not going to. Uh, but I am going to share some of what I've learned in the last five years about women. And I'm not sure how much of it is hormones. And, uh, but what it is, is I've noticed, as I just came back from China, uh, uh, but I've been going out for the past five years, I've been going out with women from um, in their 20s all the way up to their 60s. Uh, now, one thing that I've noticed is when they get in their 50s, somewhere in the 50s, they've changed. I've, uh, um, this, in China, I was went out with uh, a 54-year-old and a, um, a couple of them like that. And one was old. <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm not sure if it was because of the... Uh, their environment, you know, and like I say, they're, they're, they're ready to retire. And so, you know, your mindset changes on all this stuff. And um, uh, I went up with, with another one of the same age that was much more spirited. And, uh, uh, and I've noticed, so I, I think there's a change in that, that age group. Now, I've, I've also gone out, well, I say, 20s, 30s, uh, 40s, and 50s. Uh, but I say all of them in the 60s, exception. There was one that was uh, 61 that was really in, um, that was more spirited. Uh, almost like a, like a youngin. I mean, uh, probably about 30s or 40s spirited like that. But that was the only one that I've gone out like that. All the rest of them have been old. And um, now I, uh, and when I say old, I'm saying they've lost their, their drive to um, do things, have fun. Because as you know me, I'm, I'm always doing things and, uh, uh, I'm doing it either as fun or work because my work is fun too. So uh, I I do this, but like I say, when they get in their fifties, they don't seem like they want to work. They don't seem to they want to have fun, and uh, I don't know if that's a hormone thing. And um, men seem to get more lazy when they get older, um, but. Um, uh, you know, I say the women, I don't really call it lazy because I know they, they still work. They don't enjoy it. And um, um, when they work, they focus on their work. I say, now, that's, again, remember, I am the, the women I'm seeing are single women. And uh, so they've replaced a relationship with their work. So, uh, and that's another thing I'm talking about, that they don't, and I don't understand, and that's why I went to China. I thought I was going to get another wife like my wife was, and uh, that would be more concerned 
uh, about me instead of focused on them. And I was wrong. When they're in their 50s, they focus on themselves, just like they do in the United States and Central America. Uh, so, I, I, so I'm thinking, is it the hormones that does this or not? Uh, the problem is, I, the best I've had to have fun with, uh, their um, uh, sexual desires and stuff, have been uh, in the 40s and less. Uh, like I say, it's, it seems like it's work <laughs> for, for them uh, when they're in their 50s and up. Um, so I, I, but I don't understand. I'm, I'm sure I'm, I must be going out with the wrong ones. Surely that's it. Uh, but, uh, but I don't know, uh, if it's a hormone thing or not, because there's a definite difference. And, uh, and if we're talking about Central America, the United States and China, like I say China, uh, in the way of the age, the women age the same um, what I you know what I'm calling hormones is like I say the excitement in life and all this kind of stuff they kind of lose it when they're in their 50s and um, I've always heard um, younger women uh, for I don't care how old you are as a man you get a woman that's younger it's it's, it's better for you and I, and I think it's because they and I always heard they mature faster. Women mature faster. Now, I'm not sure when they said mature, are they talking about really mature, mental, or is it uh, a physical, uh, such as hormones? Um, but, like I say, I, I really don't know for sure. But, I do know I've learned a lot in this past five years. And, um, uh, I'm, I'm not sure what to do with the information. And uh, I'm not I'm sure if the information is accurate. And uh, because I say, uh, when, when you, you look at all the women in the world, <laughs> I mean, I've only gone out with that many. Uh, but it is, it is strange. And uh, I have picked up some tips from that Latino uh, playboy that I was messing around with down in Central America. And it, another thing I noticed uh those ways of arousing women work for the ones I say below fifty, and you know maybe the younger fifties. So, but uh, uh, I notice it doesn't work when they get older. So uh, I'm just thinking, but I don't know for sure. This is Mike, no stress, Mike. Dot com.